with that big boss that's special It ain't no game, but they saying welcome to the second level What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Level 2 Couch Conversation. Hello. You got Keegan, and you got Tom. One of these days, we're going to switch seats. We're going to confuse the fuck out of somebody. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I like We should. Seat. We'll do like April Fool's Day. Be like, ha-ha, this is... You would sink in this seat. My fat ass been here for too long. <laughs> but anyway, today's Couch Conversation mm. is about virtual reality and virtual Yay. experiences we're kind of looking forward to. Whether you believe or not virtual reality is the future of gaming, whatever it may be, it is here. And there are experiences coming to it. So we kind of want to talk about what... We're excited about for it, kind of what what makes because I'm I'm hyped on VR. You're not as much, but what what I am I'm hyped for it. I think you are noticeably more hyped. I'm for I'm, it. I'm riding that tr that train You're that wave, just whatever. On like this weird high. Ever but I've but been a thing. but I've, but I've also played with them. So that's right. the other thing is I've I've kind of experienced it. You've no not experience. yet. So I think same. Not to David's not here, but uh, I went with David and I've mentioned this before. We went to the Best Buy to do the PSVR experience, and he kind of had the. The same reaction I did of like holy shit. Yeah. So I can't wait to I can't wait to see you have it. What what I'm purposely staying virgin for that reason. Which is nice. Yeah. Uh what experience are you most looking forward to? Whether it's on PSVR we'll talk PSVR first since we're getting that. What what are you looking for most? Well, I mean honestly not not doesn't have to be confined to PSVR because for me what I'm really looking for is to experience what I imagined VR to be like as a child. Now, for you it's different because like you've done like the virtual boy? Not quite. For you, it's different because you've done it, so you know what that is. You mm -hmm. know... I was still blown away. I mean... And for me, I'm just kind of like, I really want it to be how I picture it to be in my head. Now, that's a that's a big ask of something, to, mm -hmm. to have this kind of perfect vision of, of what you expect something to be, like especially something that you've been kind of grown up VR's, VR's on been, the fringes of. As I say, VR's been a thing for a I while. Mean, yeah, ever never... since the 80s, really, you've had these kind of like nods towards this idea of virtual reality. And let's be honest, I mean, 80s sci-fi movies are probably where the idea was born to mm -hmm. begin with. And I think and, we're finally um, at the point where we can actually... We could fucking do it. Technologically do it. Yeah, we can technologically do it. And we can do it without making each other throw up. So that's kind <laughs> that's, of... That's uh, a bonus. So that's, to me, like, I just wanted to meet my expectations. And if it does that, I'll be happy. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the bigger part of that is I want to be able to experience things that I could not experience without VR, because I think that's what VR exists for. Mm -hmm. If you, you have your reality, you're mm -hmm. in your reality right now. We're staring We're, right now at a camera with three lights in front of us. That's our is, reality. This is our reality. Um, Put but on a helmet, we could go to fucking Venice. That's the idea. Yeah, so and I, I, you know, like I was talking to Keegan about how me and my wife were supposed to go uh, in, a, in a shark cage uh, for our honeymoon. Uh, fuck knows why. Um, <laughs> that sounds like a dumb idea. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't. But at the same time, it's kind of an experience that I never got to have. And he's gonna have now, it virtually. virtually, potentially, I can get the same sort of a feeling from it. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of a cool idea that that mm -hmm. can happen. So for me, very, very excited for that. And also, um, my last word on the subject is movies, because I think the movie industry, yeah, I've VR always been a so gigantic cool. fan of movies. Um, and I think that VR movies, if they do become a thing, will be incredible. It'd be um, really hard to do because of motion blur. Like an action movie, it you couldn't would do be, an action movie. But I know we can do it. Yeah. Like, you can do it, guys. Yes. I believe in you. Um, please make that happen. I would love to be in a movie. A movie. That'd be so cool. Uh, what about you? Uh, I think, so I'm going to go more specific. I think a lot of mine is kind of living out fantasies, kind of like you're... So kind of what you're saying. Um, so you yours is the big fantasy. Stuck of, on your ding dong, yes. and you want some little nipple twisters. Yes. And, okay. So your fantasy is kind of the big of like I want reality to meet my expectations. Again, I've played it. I kind of know what to expect. I'm going into this with kind of what's going on. But the one that's got me right now that it's like holy shit! I can't believe that this is actually going to become a reality. Is the Star Wars Battlefront one? The fact that you can do a true dogfight. In an X-Wing, look around and your shit's all around you. Like, to me, that is the coolest thing. The fact that I can look behind me, there's an R2 unit behind me in an X-Wing. How fucking cool is that? Or Star Trek Bridge Command. Like, you're talking about these sci-fi, 80s sci-fi things. Like, I know people that are super stoked for this because of the license. You, Like you said, living in that movie, I feel like Battlefront gives you that ability or this thing gives you a little snippet of living in, t in that universe mm -hmm. and so i'm excited for kind of kind of like you said living in living these worlds that i may not be able to otherwise and star wars is the the I, one that it's I'm the super closest you for. could get to that universe yes. really i can't fucking you know, go fly a space but i could you can watch the movies you can watch them in imax you can play video games but there's a disconnect them. 
You're but not yeah, that person. You're not in that scene, which is kind of the whole the yeah. whole idea. So and you were you were also talking about um, the potential for for different uses as well. Yeah. The other thing I think is, I mean, outside of gaming, I don't for I've said this before, but I think for VR to be successful, you have to be successful outside of gaming, and that includes movies, TV, uh, medical teaching, whatever it may be. I think the medical field I'm most excited for because they already do it already. Yeah. They do remote surgeries through a computer screen with these little fucking needle things. I don't... Props to doctors that do that. Like if you have Dude, any... props to doctors anyway. Pro props to patients. <laughs> props to patients who get those done. Because imagine if like the internet goes out halfway through a surgery, like oh shit, <laughs> I'm inside this person and four forty five thousand miles away. It's not that far because the world's not that big. But anyways, uh, but you saw but that video. Picture, picture that like the doctor actually being able to lean in, look into the patient. Granted, it's not the patient. For training purposes, though, yeah. that's that's uh, it's like it's a flight simulator, get. you know. Like. There was I was talking to uh, oh, probably David. That's who I always talk to at night when we're playing video games. But I was talking to him, and I was I might have, actually might have been Weezy. I want to I want to give somebody who's not experienced VR, or not doesn't really understand what VR is, like my grandma. I want to put her in a VR helmet and say, "Where do you want to go in the world right now?" You want to go to Venice? Cool. Let me let me flip the Venice app open. Let me let me go let you go to Venice Beach. Let me experience. Or, again, you want to go experience what you did in 1942 when you and your husband were on that vacation. Probably not 1942. No, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> that like, was a war game. <laughs> maybe they had a fun time. You don't know. <laughs> that's, you know what I'm saying? Like a go funny back little and, fellow with a mustache. Yeah, <laughs> but go, but going back going back in time go and back, kind of yeah. kind of experiencing places you've been back in that day. Maybe go into like a, a jive bar. Or whatever. Yeah, or even I mean vacation spots i don't know I, I think of it a lot from the medical training teachings perspective and there's nursing homes the fact that you can be in a nursing home and these people are a lot of these people don't have family with them or they're kind of forgotten which sucks uh one of my friends scott from shadazzle show works in one and props to him because anybody who works in a nursing home it's a lot of fucking work yeah. and props to you guys props to anybody who like again doctors anybody who works medical field but anyone in a pair of scrubs it just it's just crazy because imagine making these people day these people days for like 15 minutes like let's get you out of this fucked up world you're in and put you into another fucked up world <laughs> less fucked up yeah hopefully. and you can control it and even even well, when it comes kinda... to like depression and stuff like when i'm when i'm feeling down i i get depressed we all get depressed and as you know i have a lot of moments where i just don't want to do shit but how cool would it be in those moments like I want to escape. I don't want to be myself right now. I want to go be somebody else. Well, that's the big the big point of it, isn't it? I mean, when you sit down and watch a movie, you, people ask you why you sit there and watch as many movies as you do, and you say, escapism. I mm -hmm. want to be somewhere else for two hours and not have to think about my life. I want mm -hmm. to be able to get involved in Jason Bourne's life or whatever it is mm -hmm. that you're you know that you're into, and and it's kind of the idea of escapism on this kind of extra surreal level of actually. Not physically, but virtually, mm -hmm. being there and mm -hmm. being somewhere different. And you, you mentioned sort of old people's homes and things like that. Like, I remember how, how popular the Wii was when mm -hmm. it came out for, like, old They're people's homes. They're still there. Still playing bowling on the old Wii. And, um, and this is, again, an example of technology in general surpassing our wildest imagination and becoming something that truly could be a game-changing experience. And it, 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 I feel like... I mean, not that the Wii did it, but I feel like it's it's actually something that could enhance the human race versus, let's be honest, a, a PS4 or an Xbox One doesn't advance us in any way, shape, or form. It makes us have it fun. It advances entertainment, yes, but, it doesn't, but it, doesn't really, make... it doesn't really advance the... Yeah, it, it has no advancements in the medical field yes. or anything like that. But so, you, I think VR has you know. the possibility outside of... Because did you see... Did you see the video of the... Uh, I can't remember what happened People to the whose person. Legs weren't working. Yeah, the guy's legs yeah. weren't working. They put him in Oculus Rift to teach him how to walk again, along with like they made the motion along with him thinking he's walking and was able to walk. Like, that's crazy. That that's bananas. The fact that that is a thing that could happen. And when I saw that, I I literally immediately posted saying, if you think VR is a gimmick, watch this. Yeah. And stuff like that gets me more excited than yes, selfishly, personally, I want to play these cool experiences on gaming that's what I am. We're gamers, we're here for the games, but at the same time we realize that this technology in general, if utilized correctly, could have a huge impact. Could have an impact on people's lives in many, many, many different ways. Yeah. So I think that experience wise, yes, selfishly, I do want good games, good movies, you know, good experiences. But I think that outside of that on a larger larger, wider stage, 
um, I think that has incredible potential for, for many, many different people that are suffering from physical disabilities, mental disabilities, you name it. Um, and I'm excited. Maybe. I am too. What do you guys think? What do you guys think VR is kind of, what are you excited about for VR experience wise or potential wise? Let us know down below. Um, thanks for watching guys. We really, I love these kind of topics. These are the couch conversations I love. So, <laughs> this guy is so into love VR. This. I love VR. Can't but, wait to get the helmet. Yeah, the cool little hat. Guys, you have no idea how much of Keegan's day that you made with that. Yeah. Uh, and mine too. I got it. I'm so stoked. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks a lot for watching guys. And as, as always, always welcome, welcome to the, the second, second level. level. Bye. Bye. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching that video. And if you want some more, then uh, just keep, you know, clicking those links on the side of the, the page there until you find one that you like. It's really not that hard.